Hey, hockey fans. Welcome to Goal Line Hockey. So we're going to start a playoff preview series with all the playoff series going on in the NHL for the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs. And starting things off, we're going to take a look at the Calgary Flames and the Colorado Avalanche. Make sure to stay tuned. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. Stay tuned. So the Calgary Flames, who won the Pacific Division, will battle the wild card, second wild card, Colorado Avalanche in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And just a quick overview of these teams head-to-head. -head. Um, October 13th, the Calgary Flames won that game 3-2 to two in overtime. November 1st, Calgary won again 6-5, to five, so a high-scoring game there. And January 9th was the third and last time these teams would meet. Again, Calgary winning the game 5-3. to three. So, right away, season series, Calgary swept this series between the Calgary Flames and the Colorado Avalanche. And for Colorado, it this team did struggle at certain points of the season. They definitely played better in the second half of the season. Um, and I think that, unfortunately... When they played the Calgary Flames, they the Flames were one of the hottest teams when they were meeting them, and Colorado was in kind of a slump. So those could be deceiving numbers. Maybe if they played in January, end of January, February, March, maybe we'd see different results there. But that's something to keep in mind. Calgary did win this series three and nothing. In terms of strength of positioning, uh, with forwards, defense, and goaltending head to head. Forwards definitely have to go to the Calgary Flames. It's been well documented this season, the lack of depth in Colorado. Yes, they have Miko Rantanen, Nathan McKinnon, and Gabriel Landeskog. But for most of the season, a lot of the depth, especially at forwards for the Colorado Avalanche, has been an issue. Guys like Tyson Yost, they did bring in Derek Broussard at the deadline, but he hasn't really been what they had hoped. He's been a great player, but not putting up as many points as they'd hoped. Guys like Alex Kerfoot, you go down the list, JT Confer, these are guys that they expected a little bit more from in the bottom six for the Colorado Avalanche. And obviously looking at the Flames, no doubt they have the better offense. Goudreau, Monaghan, Bennett, James Neal isn't even in this team's lineup. That is, They are such a good hockey team in Calgary. It, it's unbelievable in terms of their forwards. And it's definitely a strength for the Calgary Flames heading into this series. Looking at the defense for these two teams, Calgary wins this one again. Um, Travis Hamanick, TJ Brody, Mark Giordano. That's a really good defensive core in Calgary. And there's no denying that, yes, Colorado has big guys like Tyson Barry. And, and that's about it. Um, Yes, Eric Jelena, guys like that that are good depth, but it's definitely I would give the edge to Calgary. They loaded up a couple of years back getting Hamannick, and I mean they did trade Dougie Hamilton, and look how good the acquisition of uh, Noah Hannafin has been for this team in that trade last season. So Hannafin, Hamannick, those guys coming in have really made a difference in solidifying the defense for the Calgary Flames, definitely giving the edge to the Calgary Flames for this one. And now the goaltending. So this is going to be a different story. It might be the Calgary Flames kryptonite in this series because Colorado has Philip Grubauer, who has played unbelievable hockey over the last month, month and a half, and has really taken the job away from Semyon Varlamov, who, remember, he is a unrestricted free agent this summer. So we'll see what happens there. But obviously the edge goes to the Colorado Avalanche here. The Flames have struggled for most of the season, finding a number one goaltender. They've been going back and forth between Mike Smith and David Riddick. This could be the determining factor in this series, I truly believe. And this could make this series from a sweep for the Flames to a seven-game series because Philip Grubauer can just steal a couple games for the Colorado Avalanche. Okay, so now time for the big moment. So... My prediction for the first round of this series between the Calgary Flames and the Colorado Avalanche, I give it to the Calgary Flames winning this series in six games. And the reason I say this, 
is Calgary's offense and defense is really great, really, really potent offense, and some really good guys on the back end that they've added over the past couple of seasons. Colorado, unfortunately, is that one of those teams that kind of backed into the playoffs in the Western Conference, and whether they wanted to make it or not, it's unfortunately, they, fortunately or unfortunately, how you look at it, Colorado made the playoffs, and they're probably going to have a top pick in Jack Hughes, and it really doesn't, this, this season for the Colorado Avalanche, this is just extra bonus points. We saw what they did last season. They made the playoffs last season just squeaking in. They did it again this year. This is a team that definitely needs some help in terms of their depth. They've got some young guys. If they can develop them correctly, this team will be fine. But Calgary definitely, I believe, is the better team. Like I said, that forward core is really good with guys like Goudreau. Bennett really coming up in a depth role for the Calgary Flames. Yeah, he's not a top point producer for this team, but... Man, is he a really good player for this Calgary Flames team. And he's been injured, so hopefully he comes back. He's nice, nice and healthy, ready to go for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Like I said, Calgary in six. Um, and really, like I said, Will Kyle, I mean, the reason this series is as tight as it's going to be, in my opinion, is Philip Grubauer. I believe he can steal two, one or two games in this series. And Will, Kyle, Will Colorado's depth, show up. Like I said earlier, guys like Derek Broussard, they're going to have to really step up. A veteran player, he's been flipped around the NHL toward the deadline earlier this winter, so he's hoping to have a good playoff run. He's going to be a big guy, so hopefully we'll see some depth show up for the Colorado Avalanche. Leave in the comments, who do you think is going to win this series? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe as well. Thank you for staying tuned, and make sure to check out our other videos on the playoff predictions for the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs. Good luck with your Stanley Cup playoff brackets, everybody.